Hi guys! Today we will make a sensor board that will allow MIPR to follow lines. The sensor board will consist of 5 TCRT5000 sensors, these sensors measure the amount of infrared light that is reflected from an object. We can use this principle to detect lines. When the sensors are over a black line, less infrared will be reflected compared to when the sensors are over white paper. We can use the differential and reflectance to detect the line and decide what to do. This is the perf board that we will be using, I have drawn a line down the center so we can line up the middle sensor properly. This is the caster wheel, you can see that I have already attached the standoffs. This is a 14 pin female header that will connect the sensor board to MIPR. I will solder this onto the board first. Make sure that you place this in the correct position. I use MIPR as a guide to line up the pins correctly. This is the connection for the battery board. This will allow us to get odometry data from the wheels and battery voltage data from the battery. I will now drill the holes in the perf board and attach the caster wheel. We will now add the TCRT5000 sensors, ensure that you attach these the correct way, with the infrared emitter at the front of the sensor board. I will add 5 sensors, 1 in the middle and 2 either side. We can choose how many sensors to use depending on how complicated we want our line following algorithm to be. The tutorial for this can be found over at leet.uk where we have implemented 3 line following algorithms. The simplest algorithm utilizes 2 sensors, the second algorithm utilizes 3 sensors and the final algorithm implements APID using all 5 sensors. When you solder the sensors try to line them up so they are all facing the same way, and are at the same angle relative to the ground. Slight differences in angle will change the amount of infrared that is reflected from the floor. This is how your board should look once all sensors have been added. Notice how they are all aligned and at the same angle. I will now add the resistors. I will add a 220 ohm resistor on the 5 volt line going to the infrared LED, this will limit the current draw to around 22 milliamps for all 5 sensors, that's around 4.5 milliamps per sensor. These LEDs are capable of drawing up to 50 milliamps however if we were to do that there would be too much infrared light and our phototransistors would get oversaturated. We will add 4700 ohm resistors to the negative leg of the phototransistor, this will make our sensor sensitive enough without being oversaturated. Please note the resistors used in this video have different values, my final design used the resistor values mentioned here and that are listed on the tutorial over at lead.uk. I will now connect all of the components together. You can see a schematic on the left hand side. I will attach the 5 volt line and the ground line first. 
In this video I will use a mixture of hookup wire and enamel copper wire to show different techniques, and to make it easier see connections between components. This board has 5 sensors on it enabling the robot to follow lines. We can choose how many sensors to use, and in the code example that I provide you will have a choice of 3 algorithms, ranging from a simple to advanced. The more advanced algorithms traverse the course quicker and are harder to understand. To download the code go to leet.uk. As you can see I am connecting all of the components together, and because there are so many things to connect it looks a little messy. This does not matter too much as long as everything is connected properly. I have created a PCB version of this board so if you don't want to connect everything up go to my eBay shop and purchase the PCB. To find my eBay shop go to leet.uk, click on eBay tutorials and follow the link or search for, Mipperline following board on eBay. If you look at the top of the boards you can see that the red wires supply the plus 5 DC, the yellow wires are the signal from the sensors and the black wire is the ground. All data signals are routed from the sensor to the pins on the bottom of the board. The resistors that are connected to the sensors are connected to ground, the value of these resistors determine how sensitive the sensors will be and how much infrared light we need to saturate them. Once all connections have been checked I will plug the board into MIPR and check the infrared LEDs making sure that they illuminate by looking at them through a camera. Once the board is secured to MIPR all we need to do is to navigate to leet.uk, download the code, then upload it to MIPR. This will test the board and give us some line following algorithms out of the box. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you next time.